This is part one of the tutorial by Dexter Industries on how to use Scratch with the Brick Pi. Scratch is a graphic programming language developed by MIT, and we've adapted it so you can write programs in Scratch to control a Lego robot with the Brick Pi. There are two parts to the setup. This is the first part. This part is a run once setup. You only have to do this once on your Raspberry Pi, and you should have it. You should never have to do it again. Second part must be run each time you run a scratch program for the BrickPy. This video is just a one one once setup. For this part, your Raspberry Pi must be connected to the internet. In step one of part one, we'll get the, get the examples and code from GitHub. We recommend using GitHub to get the examples and code onto your Raspberry Pi. You'll need to be on an internet-enabled Raspberry Pi to do this step. So first we'll pull up a uh, LX terminal. If you don't have Git, you'll need to open a command line and install it on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, please see our guide to getting Git going. After you've got Git on your Raspberry Pi, you can install the Scratch repository of drivers and examples. We are, we type on, we click on LX terminal. So we've got a new terminal window. We're going to change directory to the desktop. So we type CD desktop. And now we type in git clone https and the web address of the uh, BrickPy repository in GitHub. It's github.com backslash dexter end backslash brickpy underscore scratch dot git. Once we do that, we see uh, cloning uh, into BrickPy scratch and we see a new folder just popped up on, uh, on our desktop. We'll see the some action there in the terminal. We start downloading and unpacking, and then we're good. We have so that's cloned uh, the BrickPy Scratch repository to the desktop on the Raspberry Pi. Um, once that's done, close the terminal window. So the second run one step. We'll be setting up Scratch Pi. Uh, Scratch Pi is software that lets Scratch programs talk to the hardware through Python. So, with our Scratch library um, and and examples, Scratch talks to Python and Python talks to the Brick Pi. So, it's really necessary to get this set up. Um, again, for this step, we need internet connectivity. So, we're back here on our uh, on our Raspberry Pi desktop. We go ahead and we open up a command uh, command line and uh, We'll type sudo wget and then this long address and bit bucket. And this is going to get us an installer so that we can install uh, the setup program. So we run that and we start to see a little bit of movement. And if you're successfully connected to the internet, you'll connect to bitbucket.org. We'll start downloading and it'll automatically unpack itself. And finally, we get the command prompt. So we know we're successfully installed here. Finish processing dependencies for setup tools. Okay. 
Now we're going to install ScratchPy from GitHub. So, again, we'll go ahead and open up a fresh command line, LX Terminal. And we'll change directories to the desktop. So we type cd desktop backslash brickpy underscore scratch, which is the GitHub directory we already installed. We'll go git clone, and then the address for scratchpy. So just like the first GitHub um, clone that we did, you'll see a little bit of motion as we download and clone all that into the BrickPy Scratch folder. There we are, we've successfully cloned that from GitHub. Second step, we'll go ahead and pull up a new terminal. And we'll type, we'll change directories to the desktop. So cd desktop backslash brickpy underscore scratch backslash scratch pie. So now we're going to go into the directory we just installed. And we'll type sudo make install. And this actually installs that um, the scratch pie that we just downloaded. We'll see a little pause and then we'll see running installation and we'll see a lot of text go by. And at the bottom we'll see installed and finished processing dependencies. So that's the end of the first big step of installing Scratch Pi. And now we should have all the machinery on the Raspberry Pi that will allow Scratch to talk to the Brick Pi. So in part two, we'll go through each of the run every time we want to run a Scratch program.